couple of weeks ago, the Commercial Appeal reported after polling members of this council that eight members were in favor of only new employees in 2016. If those eight members who told the Commercial Appeal that feel like that today, then this item will be dropped. But what I want to say is under our council rules, and I made this statement earlier, if it is to be dropped, even for those of you who disagree, vote for it to be dropped. And then if you can garner enough support in two weeks, you can bring it back. But I think it will send a clear message to the administration and to the public to have a majority vote and even a unanimous vote moving for this item to be dropped. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Flynn. Thank you, um, Mr. Chairman and um, everyone that's spoken. And I guess I'll sort of wade, no pun intended, Alan, um, into what Councilman Conrad was saying before. And I think if we can look at our original sin with this and to speak to what Mr. Malone, I believe he said the first time he spoke, or it might have been Mr. Williams referring to the police department, is we, we've got a lot of confusion on this issue because we have two ordinances running at a parallel track, three actually, if you look at the one creating the account. Well, obviously, we're not going to pass all three of them. They would be in conflict with each other. But we, we, we need to clean it up one way, whether no matter how you feel about it, there, there's none of these actions are, are final as far as what's going to happen on the pension. But that being said, you know, I've, I read the same report that Mr. Lowry did. If, if that's the one that's in, in the clubhouse, that's the one we need to be discussing. We can't have these multitude of, you know, is it this, is it that, you know, with, with these numbers, it's like this, with these numbers. We have to start talking about what the plan's going to be, and having multiple ordinances out there is counterproductive to that. So as a body, and we all might feel differently about what the ultimate outcome might be, but the process up to this point can be a lot cleaner, and that in and of itself will benefit the public. Thank you. Um, Mr. Harris. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair, and I want to echo what Mr. Flynn and what Mr. Lowry said, and that to the extent we can narrow our universe of choices, I think it's a good idea that we start to do so. I, mean, I think there are a whole lot of benefits. If the, the, all these options, we are expending lots of time and resources and going through presentations with respect to each one of these options, and if we can limit, then we can focus and we can do something. Uh, it also is a change of course because of the past several months since that last budget hearing in June or the final approval process in June, we've sort of, as a city government, been scatterbrained. We've been all over the place. First we vote here and then we, you know, we change our minds. And this is an opportunity to show at least some level of decisiveness. And I think it's an order because these are real people in real lives. And so if we can at least narrow the considerations. I think it'll give them comfort and I think we should do it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Harris. Mr. Conrad. Um, Mr. Wade, so <clears throat> if, let's say it gets removed from the agenda tonight, then we have Councilman Lowry's deal up in two weeks or when, whenever we vote on it. If we want to then, let, let's say, if, I mean, maybe that passes in us that, and, that, and that's it, but can that be changed at that time or is that a material change to go back to some kind of hybrid plan or? In that sense, does it make sense to, pres to preserve two options, or do you agree with what Councilman Flynn said at that point? Can you just vote against that then? And if it doesn't pass, then are we back to square one and having to go through a 45-day process? Um, the two ordinances that create the plans have identical captions, which means if Myron's plan relates to new hires and the other one relates to vested. They both appear to be, um, the caption appears to be sufficiently broad to allow an amendment to do either one. Okay. So, so then you're, you're agreeing with Councilman Flynn? Yeah. I mean, okay. I 
So in that sense, I'll withdraw my motion. I'm going to vote against what Councilman Collins is trying to do. Not that I disagree with it, because I do, but just to simply preserve, you know, the, the, the option of being able to do something else. Uh, yeah, and I mean, forward. I think the point Myron was making at the third reading, the council can do whatever it wants to do. The qu your question was whether it can be done within Councilman Lowry's ordinance or within number seven, and I think it could be done within either one. Okay. Is that all, Mr. Conrad? Mr. Flynn, you have three minutes.